Hello guys, today I want to talk about workflow and how to speed up your workflow using key commands and shortcuts in Logic. So I think it's very, very important to work as quickly as you can so the creativity just can flow. Check it out. So one way to speed up your workflow is learning how to reach the tool menu without using the mouse. I see a lot of people just using the mouse too much and you find the tool menu here, but if you press T, you get a tool menu here, see? And then you just pick the tool you want with a letter. So let's say we want the scissors, okay? So T, I, and I have the scissors. Uh, let's say I want the glue, it's T, G, and I can glue them together again. TP, it's a pencil, you can write automation just on the fly. So if you learn all these commands, you're gonna speed up your workflow a lot. Another thing that's gonna speed up your workflow is using your second tool. Your second tool is here, and you can reach it by holding down command. So if you see here, command, I get the marquee tool. So here you can choose whatever you want to have as your second tool. I usually have the marquee tool and this is why, because if I hold down the command, I can delete, I can cut, and if I go into automation, I easily can mark and adjust the volume like this. If you don't do it like this, you have to make four points and then drag up and down. That is a lot slower than mark and adjust. Another thing that I think is so powerful is saving your project in alternatives. And this is, I'm gonna explain what I mean about that. Let's say we're done tracking. This is a finished song and we're gonna move on and we're gonna do a lot of decisions. So I really want to be able to go back to the clean start always. So I wanna save this as an alternative. So file, project, alternatives, and I'm gonna make a new alternative. Uh, and this I'm gonna call mixing. So now I'm into mixing and also editing. So I know I wanna remove this, um, and also maybe trim a bit here. Maybe I wanna use, let logic remove all the silence between here, so I do that. And also maybe do all these fades here. In and out. And save this. And let's say I want to do this once more, but I want to go back to a clean start. So then I go just to Project Alternatives and I press this one. So this is the original. And voila, I'm back. And if I want to go back to the one I had, it's easy. Just go here, mixing, now save, and I'm back. And you can do as many alternatives as you like. And you also can have different mixes, you know? So if uh, I thought that this is a very nice mix, but I want to try something else, project alternatives, I like this mix. So save alternatives, be bold and take risks, and you always can go back. Another thing that can really speed up your workflow is something you saw me do, it's called Remove Silence. This is a backing track and it is recorded in one take. So between here I have a lot of breathing and close noise and yeah, stuff in the room that I don't want to have here. Because when I use a compressor on this, all these sounds gonna pop out. So I have to do cuts. So I could go here and just make all these cuts throughout and then delete them like this but that is kind of time consuming there's a quicker way and that is letting logic do the job up here get a new set of tool menu now we're looking for remove silence this one so this is remove silence uh, as you can see here everything is that is in the box 
is uh, going to be left alone. But everything outside the box is going to be cut away. And you can see here it's cutting in the middle of the box so we have to adjust a bit. So if we go to the threshold and take it down you see it fixes everything inside the box. Okay, So here we have pre-attack time. This is going to adjust the box before the audio. So if you see here it gets bigger. And we have the same here. This is going to adjust uh, the end, back end. So it's just hit OK when you're happy with it and done. So Logic has now done very nice cuts here. Only thing that you have to do now is make this fades. But there is a quicker way getting to this tool menu. So that is a shortcut, and that shortcut is Control X and Enter, and you're done. The last thing I want to show you is colors. So if you have a lot of tracks down here, you really can get lost and you have to keep looking all the time for what you want to find. So then you easily can use colors. So I left the beat alone and I have given the vocals a color. You get the color menu if you press Alt C. And you press what? Well, you just press the track and you can give different colors. I know that these are backings, so I want to give them the same color. So I'll say they, they are green and the vocals are yellow and B are red. So now it's easy for me to see what's what. Just quick taking a look. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm gonna try to make more of these videos. So if you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.